Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Scholes. Today we have our final story from Tuscany, and this is quite a tale. It's in the mold of the good sister and the bad sister. Well, stepsisters, almost always. And this one includes a bear. This is Teresina, Luisa, and the bear. Once... There was a woman who had two daughters, at least one was a daughter and the other a stepdaughter. Now the daughter, named Luisa, was ugly and wicked, but the stepdaughter, Teresina, was so good and beautiful that everybody loved her. This made Luisa very jealous, and she began to think what she might do to get rid of Teresina. One evening, she said to her mother, Mother, send Teresina into the woodhouse tonight so that the bear may come and eat her while she's alone in the forest. So the mother gave Teresina a piece of dry bread and said to her, Take your distaff and go and spin wool in the woodhouse tonight. Very well, said Teresina, and went out into the forest, and the dog and the cat went with her. When she got into the woodhouse and she shut the door, she pulled out her piece of bread and began to eat supper. Meow, meow, said the pussy, and patted her arm. Ah, poor little pussy, are you hungry too? Here's a piece of bread for you. Wow, wow, said the dog, and put his front paws on her knee. Yes, little one, here's a piece for you too. You must be hungry, I'm sure. When she had finished her bread, she began to spin, but she had not been at work long when she heard a knock at the door. Who's there? The bear, was the answer. Oh dear, what shall I do? said Teresina. Tell him you'll let him in when he brings you a dress like the sun, said the dog. So Teresina did as she was advised, and the bear went in a very short time to Paris, and came back with a dress as beautiful as the sun. Tell him he must bring one like the moon, said the cat. The bear brought that too. Now ask for one like the sky with the stars in it, said the dog, and the bear soon came back with that as well. What shall I do now? asked Teresina. You must ask for a nice silk handkerchief. For your head. So the bear brought the most beautiful that was ever seen. What can I say next? said Teresina. I shall have to let him in. No, 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 ask for a fan. The bear brought a fan such as Teresina had never even imagined. One more thing, said the dog. Ask for a chest of linen. Again, Teresina followed the animal's advice, and almost immediately the bear appeared at the door with the chest of linen. But just as he arrived, the sun rose, and he was obliged to go away. Then Teresina put the chest on her head, took up her dresses, her handkerchief, and her fan, and went away home with the cat and the dog. When she appeared among the trees before the house, Louisa was, first of all, very much disappointed, for she thought that the bear had certainly eaten her sister. But when Teresina showed her all the beautiful things, then Louisa fairly cried with spite. Give them to me, Teresina she said. You must and shall give them to me. No, no, said Teresina. They're mine and I shall keep them. Then, mother, exclaimed Louisa, let me go to the woodhouse tonight. I will go to the woodhouse tonight and I will see the bear. I will, I will. So the mother gave her a nice slice of polenta with plenty of cheese and in the evening Louisa went off, followed by the cat and dog. Meow, meow, said the cat when Louisa began to eat. Bow, wow, said the dog. Get away, ugly beasts, said Louisa, and kicked at them with her heavily nailed boots. Then came a knock at the door. What shall I do? asked Louisa. Open, said the cat and the dog. It's the bear with the dresses. So Louisa opened the door, and the bear came and ate her all up. But Teresina put on her beautiful dresses when she went out walking, and one day the king's son saw her, and loved her because she looked so good and beautiful. So Teresina married the prince, and afterwards became queen of the land. And that is the story of Teresina, Luisa, and the bear. And, I mean, it's fairly formulaic for the stepsister's story, 
But I do like that the dog and the cat really go to town on this shopping list for the bear. And that the bear goes all the way to Paris from Tuscany and back before even a part of the night is over. I think it's just absolutely wonderful. This is Dan Schultz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Next week, we'll be back with three new stories. As always, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>